or BlackBerry. New research reveals fraud and corruption opposing major threats to growth in the construction sector. The report by Grant Thornton has found fraud is costing the global construction industry about 5 to 10 percent of revenues. So how can the industry use information technology to fight fraud? Well, for more, we're joined by Chris Watson, forensic consulting partner at Grant Thornton Australia. Chris, thank you so much for your time. Just firstly, uh, take us through the, the size of, of the issue and the, the cost as well in the latest research that you've done. Sure. So the, the real estate construction industry is reckoned to be worth about um, nine trillion dollars at the moment, US dollars, going to possibly um, 15 trillion dollars in, in the next few years. And locally here in Australia, ABR statistics show that uh, the construction industry is worth around 100 billion dollars, uh, with a view to, to growing to maybe say two, three hundred billion dollars. And, and as has been mentioned in, in our report, and you mentioned just now that. Um, Annual uh, surveys and, and, and our experiences, certainly within the industry, have shown that about 5% of all revenue um, can be lost, potentially lost to fraud, is, is being lost to, to fraudulent activity. And what sort of activity are we talking about here? Look, it's the, it's, it's the whole range. If you can think of what somebody would do wrong in an organisation, it's there. Right? So it's, uh, it can be as simple as theft of tools, theft of equipment, um, up to the more uh, what we, the serious issues that we're seeing around bid rigging. Um, you know, the competitive tendering uh, issues, bribery, corruption, um, fictitious vendors, so people creating false companies and paying themselves, um, uh, overpaying uh, bills so that, you know, instead of it being $10, they're paying themselves $20 and, and creating false invoices. So there's a, there's a wide range. Yep. Now, you're an, an ex-detective for the City of London uh, Police. Yeah, right. And yep. uh, obviously, in terms of the, the lessons, I guess, to be learned then, how can technology help prevent and detect? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Look, I, I mean, I suppose to step back from the technology side, which is which is key, is that the message that we're trying to get across is for people to accept that fraud is happening, and it, and is happening in their industry, and is costing them a lot of money. So once you accept that, um, we, we recommend that there's there's really a five stage process of which technology plays a huge part across that. Uh, the first stage being set your strategy, set the culture within the organisation to say where you are prepared to accept or not prepared to accept risks. Uh, perform a risk assessment to understand where those risks lay. Then uh, put the right policies and procedures in place to address those those risks. The communication aspect is the next stage, and that that's really uh, that, that's another key aspect where you need to communicate to the organisation all of those issues, where the fraud is, what you'll tolerate, what you're going to do about it. And then where the technology really comes in is to that last phase, which is the monitoring. So that's using uh, what we call fraud analytics to detect patterns in, in the data within the organisation to detect where fraud may, uh, may potentially be occurring. And is um, technology advancements uh, helping uh, in, in that part of the equation? Well, well it's certainly in terms of being able to process huge amounts of data, so the, the processing power, the, I mean, the, the tools and, the, um, and the, uh, the, the type of analysis that you do is, is, has been fairly standard for some time, but it, it's really more, not so much that the technology has got better so that people can use it, it's about, it, when we compare the real estate construction industry, say, with the financial services sector, where the financial services sector, with using huge data, have been able to um, do this kind of analytics for, say, the last 10, 15 years, you know, the, the construction industry has that data, but they're not using it in that proactive way to identify those trends. So final message then to companies as a result of this research? Well, the, 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 the key message is accept that it's going on, don't bury your head in the sand, you need to do something about it, you're losing potentially huge amounts of money, millions if not billions, and use the technology, use the data you have in to help prevent and detect. Really interesting. Thank you so much for taking us through that. Great to, to talk to you Thank today. Thank you. Cheers.